Hey BeatStars fam, what's up? My name is LMC. Hey BeatStars fam, I'm India. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about my journey in becoming a platinum producer. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about my management, um, my artist project, and doing some vocal samples. I met Liam four and a half years ago. We did a session, my management like wanted me to do a session with him. We like made some pop songs. I got him doing pop stuff. <laughs> I don't think he really wanted to do the pop songs, but he did them anyway. And then we got married. <laughs> there was a lot, there's a lot happened between that time, but stuff like the Gucci Mane vocals. So those vocals that are on like the Gucci Mane songs and quite a lot of like other um, songs. So that's like my writing and my melodies. And then Liam was like one day, hey, can we try, can you just try sing like a kid? He kind of had to like bribe me to do it. He was like, come on, like, <laughs> let's do this and then we'll go out and do this. And I was like, I really don't want to do these vocal melodies for you. So yeah, I kind of, I did like a pack of, a pack of 10, I think. And then in that pack of 10, we got like, maybe like six or seven placements with like really significant like artists. So now I do them for him. Still, still I have to be. <laughs> I still have the bigger and bribe you know, so. <laughs> Probably got like three personal favorites to be honest. The first one is Lil Sky's How You Feel. So that came out May last year on his uh, Deluxe album. And bro, that's like my favorite, like one of my favorite beats. Cause often like I'll send a beat to an artist and they won't like use my favorite one. <laughs> They'll always use the one I hate, but um, he used my favorite one, which is crazy. I love that song. And then um, it's definitely a sprightly high speed chase. Sprightly, super underrated man. And then um, India what you're saying and so that's India's um, artist project that we did and uh, that's super underrated it's like Ariana Grande kind of like trap pop vibes I guess so I got three and my advice honestly as corny as it sounds is just have fun with it you know make music with your friends like grow don't try like go chasing that major placement because it will come eventually you know you get um you get good at your craft it will come but, like enjoy the journey enjoy creating you know enjoy like networking with your friends and it'll come bro especially like now with the internet you can be anywhere in the world like that's why we do music after all you know man i started uploading my stuff maybe a year ago actually so like pretty recent um i was selling all my beats through instagram that was hella hard like beat stars gave me that platform to kind of just upload my beats and let them sit there and let them sell and i can i can get to creating yeah, bro, 100% ramped up the sales. and Also, like, ramped up my work, you know, because I was able to spend more time making the music instead of, like, selling the beats. Um, I think, like, for example, because me and Liam, we both work from home, so I, because I manage as well, so I manage Liam. So making sure that, like, when the working day is over, like, switching off and not going back to your computer and, you know, because a routine is so important. I feel like that kind of, like, especially in producers and artists, it's like, grind all day, like don't sleep, like da da da, but I personally think that that's so bad because you end up just getting so run down, like you lose your creative drive. Like Liam never has beat block because he prioritizes like his mental health and taking time off and taking a break when he needs it. Like when we go on holiday, I force him to like not make beats, you know, cause it's a really like, brain consuming, like lots of thinking job. So yeah, I think a hobby is so important. Like don't put all of your everything into just, you know, making music because I think your creative juices flow even more when you hang out with friends and then you go back to it and, you know, you go for a walk and get a good sleep. So I manage three producers. Um, so I manage LMC, Flino, and then these two guys from America called Two Producers. Um, I naturally started managing Liam, emailing people, representing him, getting him put on the credits, getting him paid for stuff from like four years ago. Honestly, there was like some crazy stuff and then took on those other two guys. And now, you know, I send beats to ARs, I will follow up stuff for Liam, I do all the contracts because I think that was a lot of your time, eh? Like you, um, mm. he would be like trying to make beats and then a guy would be like, can I buy this beat? Can you do this contract? Can you get a lawyer to check this? And Liam would be like, oh my gosh, I, one, I don't really want to, it's hard to negotiate for yourself. Like he found it hard to have his own best interest. And I think I found that with all the boys that were kind of like, oh yeah, like whatever, um, like, oh, that fee's fine. Like that $100 is fine for that, you know? And I was like, no, you guys deserve way more than that. You work really hard. And so that kind of was what got me really passionate and so that's what Motive is. So we made a management called Motive Management. 
So Mike, shout out Mike, who's the best, um, helped us do a BeatStars ID scan to find out all of like the tracks that had come out without Liam knowing. Um, and both of us actually, it was some of my vocals and it yeah, was crazy. Yeah, vocals, tight beats, it everything, was... eh? Like you guys ranked them from like top to bottom, so like. Yeah, um... and there was some with like 500K on YouTube and like it was crazy to see because mm. you know, we completely missed it. So um, that was super cool to see actually. I'm LMC, I'm a platinum producer from New Zealand. I'm India, I'm an artist and a manager. And you can find me on BeatStars. And you can find me on BeatStars.